time that we are videotaping this, it is live. And, um, and then also people can go back later and watch it. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to approve the air 21st minutes? Okay. Any discussion? All in favor to approve April 21 minutes, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, um, Pamela, will give us a sponsorship activity. Actually, I was going to do that because Pamela wasn't going to be here, but now she's here, so I'm going to defer to her. So um, we're, we're coming to the close of the fiscal year for 2016. We have a few events left. We have the Sandusen Triathlon and um, the Alice Beach 5K. Those are the only two remaining events that we have left to go. Um, since we last met, there's been the South Walton Beaches Wine and Food Festival, um, the Destiny Charity Wine Auction, the Joffrey Ballet, uh, Art Week South Walton, Digital Graffiti, and Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic. Um, all, with the exception of Destiny Charity Wine Auction and Joffrey Ballet, all the others, if you'll notice on the Special Event Marketing Grant Program for 2017, those have all been approved for next year. Um, uh, another small update that I can give that um, based upon TDC meeting on um, last Tuesday and BCC meeting uh, this Tuesday, um, the 2016, we, uh, this committee awarded um, the Walton Area Chamber money for Taste of the Beach. That event didn't happen because of timing and their, you know, they've had some change and stuff. Um, however, they are having the runs up again. They had, uh, last year, that event was in October. And um, I don't know about you all, but I don't know that we can cram one more thing into October. There's lots of things in October. So um, the chamber looked at all the dates and everything that was going on. And the date they actually had picked out for Run Sup 2016 was going to be the same date as the um, 30A Half Marathon. And because they're similar events, they didn't want to compete with that. So um, looking at schedules and looking at things, they decided to move that event to September. And since that's still in the 2016 fiscal year, and we did award, this committee did award them money for Taste of the Beach, that money was moved over to be able to um, utilize for Run Sup this September. So Run Sup will um, actually end up with two grants this year because uh, this fiscal year, because Run Sup 2015 was in October, but then Run Sup 2016 is in September, so the way our fiscal year falls, but then Run Sup 2017 will be in September 2017. So it's it's all it's literally 15 days difference, but it makes a difference for our fiscal year. Um, I, we're happy to do that for them. It's a good event. Um, we want to see some more strong people, uh, more strong advertising behind that to get some more people out to that. Um, it's actually getting a fairly good following with everything that uh, Tom Losey is doing over at the St. Joe properties at the Boathouse. He's got a lot of things going on, so I think we'll see that much bigger as we move forward. Um, you'll notice that uh, since we last met, all um, the events have been approved. They're in front of you. Um, those are the dates. Um, pretty much everything is set in stone with the exception of, like I said, runs up 2017. We're not sure of that date, but we feel like it'll be around September 24th, which is the same date as this year. Um, if you flip over on the back, you will notice um, South Walton Food Film Festival. They still don't have a date at this time. I am pushing them to get a date. Again, um, looking at outside of that shoulder, um, outside of that spring break season, um, and not falling on top of any of the other events that are already in place. So I am working there to get that done. Um, beyond that, it's just um, pretty much every day work going on with events and working looking at how we can make the events program bigger and better. Any questions? How will um, the TDC be conducting economic impact studies again this year? Um, Isn't it 2014 the last? Step? We, we did, um, I, I believe so. I, I don't know. Uh, we are in an we're in an odd place with the research company. Um, the, uh, the research companies 
uh, RFP and their their year runs like March to March. Yeah. So we're trying to get on a better schedule so they align with our fiscal year and we can work on those studies that are year long. So I, I don't I don't have an answer for that. We're working on that. I know um, one of the things that we won't be doing as much moving forward is the event studies. We still will be doing some of those, but while I think it's a, a any of them that we've done, I feel like we can use that formula moving forward. Uh, for example, uh, I'll just use songwriters for example. Um, we have that formula, how they use that and they got that. So, you know, uh, I feel like that's something that this committee or even the marketing department and, and your and the event people can work together and put something together based on ticket sales because that's a lot of what that was based on ticket sales and um, maybe some after studies that you all do because I know a lot of you do studies based on that. If you have ticket sales, that makes it much easier. We were kind of really just looking at those events that didn't have the ticket sales because it's so hard to see where those people are coming from because you don't have anything to tie to it. And as we move forward in putting on our people on the research firm, if you have a recommendation on this next year's events, uh, ones that you feel could use some research, just shoot Kelly and I an email and we can, we can pass that on up. Because if it would make it easier for you all to, you know, judge whether or not they should be a funded event, we would want to do what we can, even if it's informally through that event, and get some research together. So I mean, I know as an event producer, it was helpful as well, because there were a couple of events that we didn't really know that they were making that much money. Mm -hmm. They so really, really they, yeah, they really are. And because of the, that way that formula is done, um, if we provide them with some information, they could help us work that out as well. So I think that there's, rather than a formal study being done, if we provide them with some information, some maybe some that the event producers gather and then based on ticket sales, we might, it, we might could get something similar to that. Okay. You know, this, this is the third year that we funded the North Walton, and it's also the first year that we did research for one of their events, which was Marvel of Light. I think they got 90000 this year grant sponsorship when they did the research on that um, it was almost a million dollars of economic impact for the city of Indiana and they were just wow you know um, because there's there's not really a lot of overnight stays we didn't think but, but there really was and people coming from all over people flying in so they were pleasantly surprised that um, their event had this much impact for their, for their little city and um, Pamela, well, do we want to talk about some changes that we're going to make? No, we'll talk about that later in the, okay. the next few weeks. Okay. So beyond that, that's pretty much everything. Um, you'll see uh, we have a, um, a lot going on with just a, a lot of events. And like I said, I don't think we can pack one more thing into October. <laughs> I think everyone's figured out October's pretty. <laughs> so. It's the best month to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Kayla, we'll lead us in our first year um, Thank you all for picking up your packets in the last week. Everybody had a chance to review them hopefully and start on your scoring sheet. Uh, as we go through the presentation today and we have conversations, can change your scoring based on um, things that we talked about today. Um, okay, you should have received in your packet their applications, biographies, state of work, free work for evaluation, evaluation excuse me. Um, the criteria in the scoring sheet. Once the committee goes through and makes the recommendations today, uh, then the process will move along with the board final interviews and the artist of the year will be announced at the October 11th annual meeting as has happened in previous year. Um, the benefits for the artist, for anybody who doesn't know, I, I think Janine's the only one that hasn't been through this process before, right? And you have some. Um, upon award, the artist of the year will be $4,000 once they complete a commission work for us. 
way everybody got to see Melody Vogel's work that she she just did for us. We have on display in the visitor center right now. Um, and then the art of the year for the next year will be included in our media pitching and our social and our content on the website and several different things we do, including um, fan tours and media visits and sometimes tours outside of the area. All right, to start with, uh, what I'm going to do is just go through uh, two slides per artist. We had 18 applicants total this year. Of the 18, 12 are Wolfe County residents. They all have work on display in Wolfe County, which makes them eligible for consideration. So I'll go through the two slides and then see if there's any questions. One of the, um, the last questions is the artist of Wolfe County resident. And I wasn't sure we were supposed to um, take one points if we didn't actually live. Well, how do you know they're eligible if they this? I think it's something that we just want to keep, you know, keep an eye towards. It doesn't disqualify them, but obviously they are one kind of residents. That is something that we're really interested in. Um, and I don't know if everybody went through to see. I can tell you who the wall kind of residents are. And who oh, I can tell them all the time. Okay. Yeah, I think on that, some of the applications that have to be listed there, with their parcel is that didn't necessarily list for the residents. Yeah, and I did go through that way. So that may be something that as we get further along, if they did something like that, we didn't go back and double check and get us again. What's their Kayla, on next year's application, we could rework that part and make it perfectly clear, are you a resident of Dalton County? Yes or no. Okay, to start with, Amy Fogg, she was a director of the Down Destin. And she's a mixed media artist. I'm just going to show the artwork and not do any editorializing um, and then open up for questions. Does anybody want to discuss her? Is she, is she a Walton County resident? I yes, she's Destin. I didn't know if it was. And when you say Destin, now, a lot of those folks on the West End have a Destin address, so again, you, you really don't know. If it's small, I don't think so. Where does she represent her artwork? In She's at the Foster Valley. Uh, it's right there. Next I wrote that she didn't, she wasn't a Walton County resident. I didn't recognize the street. Oh, you did? Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Not one of Sandy's streets that he roams. Uh, uh, she has uh, the Foster Gallery, the Studio Gallery, Play 38, Loveless and Loveless Tension Interior, um, and Artist Artist Senio Boutique, as well as Nancy Shop. Yeah, Sheet and buy on a separate sheet. How does that impact our story? 
we don't have it set up that it, it has to influence the scoring. Okay. Um, that was one of my going to be one of my recommendations for next year because there were definitely people who followed instructions better than mm -hmm. the others. Um, so long as they were eligible, I went ahead and kept kept them, you know, in the running so that the committee could, could do their work for next year. I, I think that I'm going to very specifically um, ask that everything come in as one document and not on PDF, uh, 15 different PDFs or 15 different things. That was, that was interesting. <laughs> um, okay, any questions about Annette? And I do have all of their materials here, so if you ask me any questions, I can look it up. I just wasn't sure that you would want me to go through 18 people's bios. Okay, next is Betty Kingston. Betty Kingston, Santa Rosa Beach area. Mixed media, watercolor, acrylic. Any questions about Betty's artwork or Betty? Are 
And how do you get to that? John Mayer from, uh, resides in Destin.
think she had a piece of art all around her hotel too. I think I'm, I think it was me.
during the year, it's going to call or send people over to ask about it. If you have ideas for things that we can do for our of the year, please reach out to me anytime. How soon do they submit their application to be considered? How soon? We've got to send it here. And the application will be back a month ago. So um, we open them up. They have that month. We may do it a little bit different each year um, just to, to change the um, time a little bit so that it doesn't coincide with the comments that happen at the same time. But I feel like um, I had been warned that I would be flooded with applications on the final day. And I had several, but they really spaced out over the two to three weeks beforehand. They came in slowly and
we have in one of our meetings, we'll have an opportunity to, to rework and make recommendations for the yeah. application. Yeah, um, listening to you guys talk, um, I have a couple ideas on how I wanted to rework the application and maybe make it an online application. Um, but how about if I send out an email after this meeting to the full committee? Um, asking some specific questions and just open ended whatever your suggestions are for the process. Streamline. And then we can discuss this, have that product ready for you to review at that November meeting. Is, is all art is displayed in South Florida, right? Yes. So just an idea to think about. So bringing the artists here, why couldn't we, as a group, go and visit those places? Filter. Filter. I like it. As long as we can stop the lunch. Well, I mean, I, I, I think we could conceivably stop at each place. There's how many hours where there's 18. 18. Sam's going to want drinks, too. So. <laughs> so they're out to take care of the place. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's impossible. It may take two days. I think that's a good idea too, but I think it's, there's not a problem with putting a verb on them to mm -hmm. to make them make the effort because it makes such a prestigious word. Maybe we go visit the finalists. Yeah. There, I mean, we could also you could just look at it. What I've been thinking about for the past few days as we were working on the the judging part is if you wanted to submit your um, original form sheets and break it down to maybe five people and then. For the meet, like we could do this part earlier and then at the five that in something like that. I only have one sheet if you'd like to fold my passing down. <laughs> yeah.
persuading people and you know, it's a flat position and giving directions and what there is to do in the area. That application will be live in a couple days and um, if you like, I can send it to you so you can forward it on to anybody that you think is, would be a good fit. So they're just looking for a part-time job. I don't know if all of you are aware that John Urban is leaving us. Um, he's our director of marketing and his last day will be September 2nd. So you see John out and about. Um, to uh, wish him well be staying in the area. So um, that's good. But that's really all the updates I have. Um, maybe at our next meeting in November, Jay can be here. He wanted to be here today so bad, and then he got called up to the North End for, uh, for another meeting. But he's been here four months now, and he's doing a fabulous job. And um, you know, he has a, a lot of years in tourism with Louisiana in marketing and PR and research. So he's got his family all moved over here from Louisiana. This has started school and um, now he's just fully uh, immersed in the destination. So that's all I have unless someone else has anything, any questions? I was gonna do a small update on where all South Walton's gonna be for events and stuff oh, over sure. the next little bit. So um, we're closing out, um, South Walton's been traveling quite a bit. We're closing out um, the Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion and the Woodlands in Houston. We had an event the whole year with the children's program there um, the whole summer. We're closing that out the end of this month. So we've had someone, um, a lot of us have went to um, Houston and got to see a lot of our visitors there. Um, a lot of, we have a lot of good visitors there that are interested in the things that we do. Um, South Walton is participating in Music City Food and Wine again this year. That is um, September 14th and 15th, I believe. Um, we'll be in Nashville for that. Um, the, uh, October 15th is the Cattle Warren's Ball again. We're going to be there for that as well. Um, Shelby and Allison have both been, so they know what we're talking about. So um, this year we're taking some different people. Mel uh, Melody Bogle is going with us and for Artist of the Year. The reason I wanted to mention it is because this is this committee <laughs> helps us get those people to go. So um, Justin and Shelby went last year. Um, bless Justin. He, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Allison knows it's a lot of work. Um, Justin fulfilled two roles last year. He made a beautiful painting and he apparently made some really good food I couldn't eat. So. <laughs> It was really good. I pulled 50 pounds of shrimp. Yes, thank, thank goodness Shelby was <laughs> there to help us out. But <laughs> just, you know, when we're thinking about, like you said earlier, it, it might be a good thing to be able to see those people because those are the kind of people, as you well know, that go with us on these trips for these things. I mean, Allison's been, Shelby's been on behalf of Justin, but still, Melody Vogel's going with us as well. And then um, we're also looking at the Emerald event in New Orleans, um, Boudin bourbon and beer so there should potentially be some shifts going with that so South Walton's doing quite a bit of traveling but um, this committee helps a lot with that because you guys provide us the artists to take we we can't go on our own we gotta do something you can't compete with somebody that's giving out food and wine you gotta give out something so sometimes it's jewelry sometimes it's food sometimes it's music it just depends so we appreciate all you guys' help for everything you guys do to get that done so on the flip side of that, the yep. department is heading to Texas this month for Connect. And <clears throat> South Walton is the sponsor of the First Day's Breakfast, uh, which is for 3,000 people. And we'll do a presentation on stage. And I will call up Ms. Shelby and um, Watercolor and Topsail and Hilton and Sandusky because they have a representative from each of those properties going with and us. Pearl. And Pearl. And Yeah. And Pearl. And uh, I think that will just be great to put, you know, their face out there for the first day, uh, first thing in the morning because we have appointments that day, we have appointments uh, the next day, and uh, we'll give away some vacation packages while we're on that stage, and we have a little gift at each uh, place setting for those 3,000 people. And um, it, it's just, this is the strongest industry I think. Oh yeah. I mean, in the yeah. industry, this, this, for, is, for, uh, this is yeah. the association market, the corporate, the incentive, and the sports. Mm -hmm. So you pick the track that you want. Uh, so we'll have, uh, for, for us, we have the association track, the corporate track, and then 
what track we'll be doing. We're doing, um, so we're doing two sets of appointments, but we're doing corporate for both. Okay. But a lot of the corporate planners also do incentive travel, so right. I'm excited about that. And then the sales team heads to um, Atlanta in September for Black Women in Shoes, which is always uh, great for us. We've done Dallas, Houston, Fort Worth, Nashville. This will be the first time they've offered Atlanta, so we'll be getting that. It's about 4,500 uh, women in our demographics, and um, they only allow 10 vendors or the only travel uh, vendor at any of these uh, shows because no one ever approached them. So. When I went to the one at San Justin, I thought it was so well run, and I was surprised that there wasn't a travel uh, you know, entity in that, and so asked them, and they had never thought about that, but now they want us to go to every one, and there's like 40 out there, but of course we can't go to all. We try to do two or three a year you know, in, in our target market. And what day in September? Let's see, September 11th. What is it? September 11th. That's right, I should remember that. Um, and then in October, we'll be going to Franklin Wine Festival in Franklin, Tennessee, and that's very uh, high end there. And then after that, I think that's meeting. Yeah, yeah. We want to yes. stay here. Uh, we want to stay here. <laughs> so, yeah, our next meeting will be in November, and that's uh, Kelly will give us an update on um, things that have happened, you know. Uh, up until November, and then we'll talk about um, next year's sponsorship grant. We've got some changes in the works there, but not quite ready to, to lay that out and discuss it, but we'll have that ready for you in November. Are there other committee comments? There's no public, so must these guys <laughs> we didn't name them. We, we didn't name them. Okay. The one little lady over here is Layla because she lays down. Layla. And then he's kind of hot, so he's Dawn from Adonis. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> these these were us doing marketing. So <laughs> we up there, and it's like <laughs> yeah, they're in our entertainment a little bit. You know, it's kind of funny when you walk upstairs and you see that, and you're like, what is that? <laughs> All right, can I have a motion to adjourn? Thank you all for coming today. Thank you. Thank you guys for two questions. And look, it was fun.